These are children who just returned from school and have had to pass through this tiny path. This is what residents in the area face daily. If I could just book down there, so they are trying to fix it up. So please, we want the government to come to our aid to help us to fix our road. Then the landlord has been like managing the road to make it more tolerable, just to see way to assist the government to build our roads. He has a street. Alagodao, Ese Egwasa, all around Second West Secular are in a deplorable state. This has been caused by flood. When it rains, they say it's like a forced public holiday as they are restricted to stay at home. No road through which to go about their duties. We beg government, make them come do it for we. Because the road is bad. It don't begin to damage our vehicle. It is well our motto. The roads of Second West was said to have been constructed during the administration of former Governor Ambrose Falon Ali and has since been in that state. The flood problem made landlords of the area to officially write to the Ministry of Environment for a solution which came forth with a favorable response. But work appears to have been abandoned. Doing, we are tired. You hear me? Tenants are running away. Flood carrying some of our children and so on and so forth. We are tired. We don't even know what to do again. The people are tired of facing the same issue daily and need the government to be proactive. NTA News sought to reach out to the Ministry of Environment, which issued a letter in 2019 promising to work on the road. Affected residents are looking forward to a time when the infrastructure would have been restored. In Benin, Ivye Oyahiri, NTA News.